Young people, there is so in the presence of our wonderful God. An achiever in mission has a face full of Jesus. His life reflects God's glory. He is filled with the presence of our God. Even under pressure, he is joyful. So young people, come now and let us worship our wonderful Jesus. Yes, let's all worship the Lord together. You have poured out grace You brought me out of darkness You have filled me with peace Giver of mercy Oh my help In time of need Lord I can't help but sing Faithful you are Faithful Beautiful Savior, you have brought me near. You pulled me from the ashes, you have broken every curse. Blessed Redeemer, you have set this captive free. Lord, I can't help but say. Welcome to AIM College Tips, and this is Pastor Yam. And I'm Krish. And Sophia. And we are your ka -Aimer. And for today's college tips, we'll be talking about what God wants to accomplish in your life. Reminders concerning what and why God does things. Here is college tips, words of life. Kamusta? Are you doing well? How's your online class? I hope you're doing fine. I believe that you can do all things through Christ. Press on! Let us share three reminders that we want you to keep in mind 
as you pursue your academic journey. Tip number one, you are loved. In Romans 5 verse 8, it says, But God shows His love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Amor, the King of the universe, the one who upholds the earth, loves you with a passionate love, a love that has no equal. So nothing you could have ever done or said can separate you from this infinite love. His love for you always gives, forgives, and gives again. His love will always draw you back to Him. Amen to that, Krish. Amor, you don't have to compromise. You don't have to cheat. You don't have to plagiarize. Don't put your hope on those things. God loves you and He is for you. Put your hope in Him. Tip number two. You are a work in progress. But now, O oh Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay. You are our Father. We are all the work of your hand. Matthew 22, verse 37 to 38. Amor, God is not done with you yet. He's continuously molding you into His likeness. Our life is in God's hand. Like a skilled potter, He knows when to apply precise pressure. He knows when to relax His hand, how to squeeze and nudge, all of which increases our fitness as vessels for His use. Amor, if you are struggling with your academics, whether you are having a hard time learning a certain subject, or unable to finish a big project, remember, God will equip you! Never allow your current condition define what you can accomplish. If you lack ability, God will give it to you. If you lack wisdom, He will supply. Your work in progress, God will equip you so you can finish the race. Tip number three, you will be a living testimony. In Malachi 3.18, it says, and you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. God will tremendously work in your life. He will bring you to the top and make you shine bright like the stars. Amor, God will make you a living demonstration of all the good things He has placed in your life as a testimony to the world. Amor, don't give up. Don't quit. God will make you able to finish the race. You will graduate. You will get that degree. You will be a living testimony of God's goodness. That's it for today's college tips. Amor, don't give up and continue running the race. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We are Achievers in Mission. Psalm 16 verse 11, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Young people that want to share two things to you today. Number one, God makes known to me the path of life. Number two, in God's presence there is fullness of joy and pleasure. So number one, God will show you the path in life. God will show you how you can make the most out of every opportunity, how you can live this life to the fullest. All these suicidals, all these anxieties, all these worries, all these depressions, these are the things that leads to death. But God said, I will show you the path of life. John 14, verse 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said, I am the way. So you want to know what way to go? You go to Jesus. You go to Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. When God shows you the path to walk, walk in it, young people. Amen. Spend time with God every day. Don't let a day pass by without spending time with Jesus. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, during your vacation, during your free time, spend time with Jesus. Number two, in God's presence, there is fullness of joy and pleasure. Psalm 16, verse 11, You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. The presence of God makes us glad. Why? Because the presence of God is found in His Word. The Word of the Lord gives us instructions. Now, when we receive instructions, it gives us assurance. It gives us a sense of direction. John chapter 15, verse 11. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in 
communion, that your joy may be full. So don't just spend time in prayer and worship. Spend time in the Word of God. The presence of God is found as well in His Word, young people. James chapter 1, verse 2. Count it all joy, brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. Even during hard times, even during persecutions, young people, God's presence will give us joy. God's presence will cause us to move forward, to push forward and accomplish what God has called you to accomplish. So, Amor, be encouraged today. Be encouraged today because joy is found in Christ Jesus alone. We are called achievers in mission in Christ. That is why we spend time in Christ. Jesus can fill you with joy. Jesus can reassure you of your future in Him. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness. Lord, bless our young people that their hearts will be filled with joy. Lord, thank you, Jesus, because you are the way, the truth, and the life. All shall be well with your young people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen.